Today, I'm going to be teaching you the ways of Sadako's invisibility mind game at the request of this guy. We'll be splitting this video up into two parts since there are two different mind games. We have the manifest mind game and we have the demanifest mind game. Now, when I say two parts, I don't mean two separate videos. Just check the timestamps in the bar below if you want to keep referring to this video at a later date for the specific mind game that you're doing at the time. Now, I'm going to say this right now. I'll probably get the words mixed up during this video as I say it hundreds of times while recording. So before that happens, I'll explain what the difference is now. The demanifest mind game is using the invisibility visibility while you're in the state where you cannot attack but you can teleport to TVs. The manifest mind game is using the invisibility you get after you change state to the point where you can hit your opponents. To tell if Sadako is invisible just look at your model from the first person. This applies for both mind games but when you can't see your hands anymore that means you're invisible for the survivors. When you can see your hands that means they can see your whole body. It is actually synced up at the moment. We'll start with the simplest of the two the demanifest mind game. Before we get into this specific mind game, I'm going to make a disclaimer that I do not recommend using this mind game as of right now, because it is still bugged. It has been bugged for five months by the way. I've done a few videos on this already, but the time she's supposed to be invisible was buffed from 1 second to 1.2 seconds with the last rework. At least it was supposed to be. Instead it was actually nerfed to 0.7 seconds, meaning we have half a second less invisibility than we're meant to have, which makes a massive difference on loops to the point where it's basically impossible to realistically use this mechanic based kit right now. For this reason, we'll be using Raikou's watch for the demonstrations of the demanifested mind game, and I recommend you use it too if you want to practice this mechanic. The funny thing is, even with this add-on, we're still only invisible for 0.9 seconds, meaning with the add-on to increase our invisibility, it's still worse than it was base kit before the supposed buff. Maybe if behaviour weren't reworking blight add-ons every patch and actually bothered to read the countless reports of this issue on the forums, or even my personal bug report to them, with special videos I made specifically to report this, outline the issue we could actually <laughs> anyway the demanifest mind game the basic gist here is we'll be using the invisibility while demanifested to make distance on the survivor while they are unaware of which way we went now there are some prerequisites before getting into this mind game because it doesn't work on every loop it only works on long wall loop basically any loop where you normally cannot mind game the survivor as a mouse one killer because it's too long is a good loop for this mind game when the mechanics working examples would be the table in rpd and most of the upstairs loops on gideon it's also incredibly important to note that you will not be able to do this mind game if the survivor shift w's away from the loop most of the time and more importantly you have to have pallet control if the survivor has pallet control it simply won't work so don't bother and i'll show this in a second What was just shown is an example of how the demanifest mind game works. What I have done is crudely recreated this loop in Photoshop so we can get a bird's eye view of what's going on. Here we see Aya Sadako have the pallet side of the loop. Trevor is holding the top of the loop, so as you can see, then both sides of the loop. So while she's up here, you can see down here, and she can see around here because of the TPP camera. This means if you normally go up this side of the loop, she'll immediately react to it and start going down the other side of the loop. If you then double back as the killer, They'll see it and start moving around the other side of the loop. And the loop is too long for you to actually get the hit unless you're like Bloodlust 17. What our character is doing while doing the demanifested mind game, however, is doing this. Where she's going from invisible, 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 invisible. And then what we're going to do is when we go invisible, then we're going to start moving up the loop. And then we're going to appear around here. What we are doing is changing the point from where the survivor reacts from down here to up here. Meaning we now have a chance to get the hit because the loop is too long for the survivor to make it to the pallet before we have manifested and we are within lunge range to hit them. This only works on long walls because we need at least 2 seconds worth of distance to manifest near them without them getting to a pallet. We don't want the survivor to take the pallet side either because the survivor will just drop it as soon as we start to manifest once we're close. The loops that you can use this mind game on right now are basically non-existent base kit thanks to the bug. Also if behaviour actually ever bothered to fix the bug, another mind game you can do is fake in one direction while visible and double backing while invisible, causing the survivor to run into you. I'll explain this while showing off the manifest mind game, however, but let's get into that now. The manifest mind game is using the intermittent invisibility you get after you manifest to get a hit. This mind game is much harder to pull off and requires good knowledge of your invisibility timings. Here's an example of it being used in a real world game. Okay.
That went pretty quickly, so let's slow it right down and talk through exactly what happened. First thing we did is we demanifest on the Pala side. This allows us to break line of sight on Alan, giving them as little information as possible. Next, we come out of the Pala on the side where we saw him closest. So we saw him left of the Pala before we broke line of sight on him, so he went to the left of the Pala. Now, as we come around the Pala to see him, we see he made a good read on our invisibility and moved away from us once we saw him. Unlike the demanifest my game, however, we have multiple invisibility cycles to play with, so it's not over yet. Once we are visible to Alan, which we can tell by looking at Sadako's hands, we double back just like a regular mind game, forcing Alan to turn around. But the moment we go invisible again, we double back again. He is now running at us while we're moving forward towards him. And when we become visible again, he tries to double back, but it's too late. And now we've got him by the balls. Now we commit to the loop and get the hit. This is a textbook example of how to get a hit with the manifest mind game. Now it's very important to note that while this is much harder to pull off than the demanifested mind game due to all the different timings, it actually, you know, works. Meaning you don't need to worry about bugs or anything like that while practicing and trying to pull this off. It also works just fine base kit and that example I showed was me doing it without any add-ons to make it easier. It is also much more flexible and can be used on most average loops in the game and in a variety of different scenarios. I do have a couple of tips though. First, unlike the demanifested mind game where you must have palette control, this isn't the case for this mind game. However, it does make life much easier if you do have palette control. Also, if the survivor is just camping the palette while they have palette control, you're not going to be able to pull this off for the same reason that you can't pull off the demanifested mind game, and you won't be invisible long enough to get right on top of them. You can also pull this off if the palette has been thrown, however, they need to be camping the palette on the vault to do it. And if they run from the palette to the other side of the loop, you won't be able to pull it off. One last thing, all these mind games are much easier easier if you're using the flower skin or the skeleton skin. The skeleton skin is best for this. The reason is because your colours are much more muted while using these skins compared to a base skin. Let's do a quick montage of each of the different skins and how they look while you're demanifested. As you can see, there is a clear difference between the default skins and the paid ones. Now, I don't own the blighted skin, so I can't showcase that one. You're broke! You're fucking poor! But I've played against it enough to know that it puts you at a disadvantage. So whether you believe me or not, it's up to you. Also, the blighted effects will show at a distance when you're supposed to be invisible while demanifested. Anyway, now you've got the information, go out there and use it, gamers. If you're really struggling to get the timing, I'd recommend recording yourself in a private match trying to do it and then looking back at the footage to see where you went wrong. That can really help you a lot of the time. I haven't shown it being used in other loops because once you know how it works in one loop, you can pretty much adapt it to any loop where it would realistically work. If you need any other Sadako help, I've got a plethora of guides and tips on my channels for which you can have a mooch for if you're interested hope this helped and i hope you have the greatest of your day bye for now gamers Don't let them